world is full of fascinating discoveries, technological innovations and unfortunate disasters. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we will be looking at three very recent discoveries. In a tunnel beneath Alaska, scientists try to understand disappearing permafrost. Between the lack of care paid by most and the ever-growing climate crisis, there are many aspects of our environment that are facing threats, one of which is permafrost. Permafrost is a layer of the ground that is permanently frozen beneath the surface of the Earth, usually made up of a mixture of gravel, sand and soil, all held together by ice. Something is considered to be permafrost after two years of frozen solidity. It sits beneath approximately 24% of the Northern Hemisphere's land, though much of it is becoming fragile now. There are only two places worldwide that exclusively study permafrost, one of which is the Fox Permafrost Tunnel. Before this tunnel, a great deal of research has been conducted through sensors, computer models and remote equipment that do not require a physical presence underground. A hole would be bored into the ground, and data would be retrieved via this hole. There is a great deal about permafrost that we are yet to understand, and describing it as stuff that is always frozen simply doesn't cut it. This is a complex subject, holding centuries of history, including bacteria and microbes from centuries past. It's also a matter of increasing concern, as the disappearance of permafrost could drastically impact the future of our planet. In December 2019, the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration shared the news of the collapsing permafrost and the severe impact of this. Some scientists have expressed their concerns, many of which are driven by the microbes trapped inside the permafrost. If the permafrost is disappearing, collapsing or otherwise releasing these microbes, bacteria and organisms from centuries ago, they could be completely alien to us in the modern day. Another cause for concern as the permafrost collapses is the release of carbon into the atmosphere that was previously being contained by the permafrost. The NOAA's analysis suggests that between 300 to 600 million metric tons of carbon is being released into the atmosphere annually, thanks to permafrost collapsing. Alaska is home to plenty of permafrost itself, looked over by the Fox Tunnel. This has provided glimpses into the permafrost from whole new angles and perspectives. Some uses have been rather surprising, with the dusty surface being likened to that of Mars. NASA even utilized the space to test drive prototype rovers. Another monumental permafrost discovery is looking into extremophiles, life forms that can survive in even the most extreme environments. Between these life forms, live microbes that are centuries old and plenty of other discoveries, Microbiologists have been gathering samples from the Fox Tunnel for bioprospecting, a process in which the material or biochemicals in plants and animals can have commercial value. In this case, microbiologists are looking for help in adapting any processes to become more sustainable. Furthermore, powerful DNA analyses conducted upon live microbes in the ice seem to reveal insights about interplanetary life introducing not only previously unseen foreign microbes, but quite literal alien ones too. The climate crisis is impacting so many avenues of life, though the impact upon permafrost could have dangerous consequences. This not-too-often-discussed phenomenon could have a dire impact upon the world, fast-tracking the end result of our increasingly worsening climate crisis. New James Webb Telescope produces images of spiral galaxies. Everyone knows and loves NASA's Hubble Space Telescope. It has been the world's greatest camera, snapping sharp photos up and out in space and sending us back some true beauties. However, Hubble was launched back in 1990, and 30 years on from then, our technology has advanced and developed a little more than that. Now there is a new telescope around town, the James Webb Space Telescope. Launched in December of 2021, this infrared space observatory is breaking news all throughout 2022. Webb has earned itself plenty of titles. Whether it is deemed a replacement of the Hubble or a successor, there is one thing these titles all have in common. It is new and improved. The biggest difference is that Hubble 
looked at the optical and ultraviolet wavelengths, while Hubble is able to look through a whole different lens, examining the universe in infrared. This will let Webb bring forth a lot more planetary bodies and stars that we could not see before, even when Hubble had captured pictures of them. On July 12, 2022, we saw a monumental step forward the James Webb Space Telescope as we saw the first image release. While we have had only a handful of images officially released, plenty of keen people are scouring the raw data, looking for further clues and images. Judy Schmidt is amongst those, and her work in processing raw space data means that she is well set up for the job. Now, thanks to Schmidt and Webb itself, we can see two phenomenal, breathtaking images of spiral galaxies. The first galaxy we have a picture of is called NGC 628, more commonly known as the Phantom Galaxy, and the other is NGC 7496, both of which sit quite close to our own galaxy. Both galaxies are part of an ongoing set of observations known as the FANGS survey, physics at high angular resolution in nearby galaxies. The aim with this survey is to look at the connections between newly birthed stars and the clouds of dust and gas from which they are born. Recent details shine a new light on mysterious pregnant Egyptian mummy. As much of our world and lives have been developing at a rapid pace, some things have been just as painful in ancient civilizations as they are now. Recent research seems to indicate that the first known case of an embalmed pregnant mummy that might have died from cancer. This mummy was discovered at the beginning of the 19th century in Thebes, Egypt. It was then in 1826 that the mummy was donated to the University of Warsaw in Poland, where it underwent a number of scans and analyses as it was studied. Following a radiological examination, the ancient mummy was determined to be pregnant at the time of her departure from life, being between 26 and 30 weeks along. The woman had been buried with a set of amulets and was, of course, wrapped carefully in different fabrics. The findings of this discovery and examination were published in the Journal of Archaeological Science in 2021 and reveals key details regarding the significance and interpretation of pregnancy within ancient Egyptian religions. However, the radiological examination also uncovered some further details, including changes in the craniofacial bones. The researchers explained that this aligns with the changes we have observed in patients with nasopharyngeal cancer, a cancer that originates around the nose and throat. Adding further evidence to the possibility that this pregnant mummy did indeed suffer with cancer was that the scientists at the University of Warsaw, when they performed a CT scan, saw in the images what was later identified as a possible small tumour located behind the left eye orbit. After researchers discovered this potential tumour, it was said that the changes seen along the woman's bones could have been what ultimately led to her fate when she was aged between 20 and 30 years old. Researchers have said that this type of cancer is vastly more common in some specific regions within East Asia and Africa than it is anywhere else. It was also said that this woman may have had a strong genetic predisposition to getting this type of cancer, though a number of environmental factors such as viruses or her diet could have also played a key role, though we cannot determine the extent to which these factors were important. In a discussion regarding the influence of the environment, Scientists pointed out that many of the factors in our modern lives that increase the chances of developing cancer are not exactly applicable to this woman's life in ancient Egypt. For example, she would not have been exposed to cigarette smoke or strong alcohol, such as spirits, as ancient Egypt only saw beer and wine. In our modern lives, secondhand smoke, lower air quality and other similar circumstances can all increase our cancer risk though the disease is, of course, not confined to these elements of life. The team plans on conducting histopathological examinations, during which they will be able to definitively confirm that this mummy did have cancer or not. This will then allow the team to look at the cancer on a small scale, down to the cellular level and at a genetic stage. It's hoped that research like this will provide some insight as to how cancer has affected various patients over centuries and millennia. In the instance of this particular study, the use of a mummy is incredibly valuable, as the tissue, though ancient, is preserved. 
It is therefore hoped that the mummified internal organs, alongside these genetic and molecular tests, will bring us one step closer to understanding this awful disease. But what do you make of these new discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.